Well, one year ago, we launched AdNet Zero at an online event attended by around, by around 600 people from 17 countries. We said we'd be back a year later hosting a global conference. And I'm delighted to say that there are more than 2,000 people from over 30 countries registered. So a hugely warm welcome to you all. Now, while primarily a UK only program, we hope this can become a global movement to meet a global challenge that's been so clearly presented to us all here at COP26. The challenge of the climate crisis needs advertising's power to stimulate switch to more sustainable choices and ways of living. Advertising drives competition, innovation and reduces prices. Never have these benefits been more needed when it comes to helping the public make the changes the world needs. The positive action starts with getting our own house in order. The AdNet Zero plan will help decarbonise UK advertising operations over the next decade. We have a timetable to achieve net zero carbon emissions in UK advertising operations by 2030, which all the members have committed to. Our vision is that by 2030, every ad will be a green ad. They will be created and managed by sustainable businesses, produced and distributed in a sustainable way, and most importantly, accurately presenting more sustainable products and services to the audience they are serving. AdNet Zero is a five-point plan developed in partnership with ISBA, representing the major advertisers, and the IPA, representing the advertising agencies. It has the commitment of all the top agencies, the commercial media owners and tech platforms, and is supported by all the other key trade bodies on behalf of their members. Accountability and transparency are paramount. Each year, AdNet Zero will publicly report on the progress against the plan, with measures including the combined emissions of all the AdNet Zero members. We've developed new tools to help reduce and measure the emissions on two main areas of activity, Ad Green on advertising production and the IPA Media Climate Charter on media. These are now being used by agencies and clients to measure and reduce the emissions generated by their advertising. And we welcome interest in expanding the use of these around the world. This week, we launched the AdNet Zero Essential Certificate, a new training course for best practice in sustainability. It's aimed at everyone working in advertising from brands, agencies, tech companies, media owners, and production companies. I've started doing the course. I thought I knew the subject well, but I've already learned some more. This new qualification is critical to skilling up our people so they make the right choices to make every campaign more sustainable. It is available to everyone worldwide through the IPA's globally recognized online learning platform. So we are starting to get our own house in order, but by far the biggest impact we will have is by the via the changes in consumption stimulated by advertising. We're seeing rapid change already. Take cars, one of the most competitive and largest advertising spend markets in the economy. Britain's most popular car sold in September was zero emission and registrations of zero emission and hybrid cars are at record levels and expected to grow further. Advertising investment to support this is accelerating. Ad spend on hybrid or electric vehicles has increased fourfold in the last three years, while it has halved on more carbon intensive vehicles. From large purchases like cars to the everyday choices like family food, we see a similar pattern. Sainsbury's and Tesco are promoting meat-free meals and plant-based meats. IKEA encourages us to reuse and to buy less, but buy better. Energy companies are promoting their zero emissions tariffs. In every market, we are seeing sustainability come to the fore. And this is what the public wants to see, how brands are going to tackle climate change. The advertising industry will be asked by every industry to help accurately communicate sustainability plans. Now, as you can see from the research, over a third of the public think brands should be speaking about environmental issues. It's important to the public that brands show that they care about the issues that matter to them. Now, given the ambitious strategy announced by the UK government for a 78% reduction in emissions by 2035, and with net zero for the whole economy by 2050 being written into UK law, these trends are only going to accelerate as every business and every household transforms. Advertising is vital to that transformation and will be a key driver of the changes we need to make in the way we live and to what we consume. Among all this innovation, advertising's regulator, the ASA, like the others around the world, will be there to ensure that messages on sustainability are legal, decent, honest, and truthful. 
Attempts to greenwash are prevented by a comprehensive set of rules and standards and by environmental claims being kept continually under review as they become increasingly prominent in advertising. Every major advertiser will have its own roadmap to achieving net zero by 2050 at the very latest and we will be taking, they will be taking full responsibility for their own emissions. They will be working in partnership with an advertising industry equally determined to take full responsibility for its own work and for its own part to achieve this essential goal by 2030. Thank you to all the businesses that are committed to the Ad Net Zero plan. We welcome anyone watching from around the world who wishes to join this initiative to get in touch. Climate change is the biggest challenge we all face and the speed and determination we have seen from our industry gives me complete confidence that it's a challenge that we can meet together. Thanks for listening. Enjoy the rest of our summit. And now back to Andrea.